Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my video. Today's video is going to be about what was in my hospital bag. Why was is because um, I have a four year old son and a six and a half month old daughter. And uh, so what I'm going to do is put a collaboration between the two bags, which are virtually the same. And then I'll say what I packed and then I'll go into more detail as what I actually used. Um, I do want to preface this video with I am Canadian and am in Canada. And so some other videos you might watch um, might predominantly be from the States where the, um, they might be provided with a lot more things. Um, than we are in Canadian hospitals. That being said, even hospital to hospital might be different. Um, so my first tip is to um, check wherever you are going to be having your baby. So if that is in the hospital, which that this, this video is going to be um, primarily about, um, just check with your hospital. So whether you actually physically go to the hospital, call the hospital, whatever, um, or if you know people that have um, given birth there, whatever, um, you can talk to them to ask what they provide. Because our my experience at our hospital, very nice um, hospital and everything, but they provide very little. They will give you um, like with the first time around and this time, they do give a decent amount of diapers and um, they'll give you, they won't give you necessarily wipes there, but you'll have like maybe washcloths or something like for the baby. And, um, but anyway, so my first thing before I get into all that is, again, this is my experience in a Canadian hospital. Um, and so the first thing I would do is with anything, anything, anytime I'm packing something, make a list. And uh, so whether that's on the computer, physically handwritten, um, on the back of someone's hand, as long as it's accessible and it's easy to cross things off, uh, make a list. And especially when you are, if it is to do with pregnancy and the birth and everything, once things get going, you're probably not going to remember all those, oh, I'll remember this, I'll remember that. No. Um, you want to write it down. And, or text, email, whatever. Sometimes I'll text myself or email myself, and so it's there on my phone. And, uh, again, you want to check where you're giving birth. So, if it is in a hospital, how far away are you from the hospital? Um, what do they provide? Um, what don't they provide? What kind of room you're going to be in? So make sure you've also done that before you've done any of the packing and stuff. Make sure with us we have paperwork that involves what kind of room. Um, some things are covered under different uh, insurances. Uh, some things aren't. Um, I personally wanted a private room, especially the first time around. I didn't know what the experience was going to be, so um, I wanted a private room. Uh, so those are some finite details that you might want to take care of. Um, and then also, like I said, how far away you are from the hospital. We happen to be about, I don't know, maybe five minutes, so it's not a big deal for us. Um, but I would also keep in mind, maybe you want to keep something by your front door and somebody that you trust that, oh, I forgot this, so maybe you have an extra bag by the front door. That would be easy to grab. Um, I wasn't too worried because like I just said, we were about maybe five minutes. And so it was easy enough for my husband to go back uh, if need be, or it's uh, depending on what it was, either the hospital might have it there or he could easily go to like a you know, shoppers or something. Uh, no big deal. So then let's see, uh, even if I would, personally suggest even if you were planning on having a home birth you still pack some kind of a bag or have a list um, because 
with pregnancy, birth, all of it, it's all unpredictable. Even if you have something planned, like a, a induction or C-section, whatever, or the home birth, um, you never know. So um, I would also say if you already have a kid or kids that um, like we already had our four-year-old son this time around, so we made sure um, we had something packed and ready to go as we got closer to um, the birth of our daughter. We made sure that we had stuff ready to go for him and things that we could sacrifice like an extra like a pair of pajamas and things like that that was all ready to go so we didn't have to think about anything you also have to consider um are you a vlogger like a lot of people on youtube are if you're going to be or if you're not a vlogger and you just want to take your camera also what your hospital allows because some hospitals do not allow um at least video um, videoing things um, so you had to uh, keep that in mind and uh, so that would probably be at the top of the list I guess um, your technological items so whether it's a still camera video camera you know phone and all your chargers um, all those sorts of things um, but how I generally start uh, when I'm packing is I go through my day and write down everything and then fill in the gaps depending on what I'm doing. So for example, if the first thing you do in the morning is brush your teeth, then toothbrush, toothpaste. And then you just go through and because some things you might forget just because it's just routine. So you want to go through your day. Okay, I brush my teeth. I have a shower. So shampoo, conditioner, uh, soap, soap on a rope, um, <laughs> loofah, I don't know, whatever that means to you, you put in your bag. So, um, and again, everybody's going to be different. So you, this might be the hundredth video you've watched like this. Um, and so that's what I did the first time around. I watched a few, I got sucked in because YouTube suggests 50 other videos. And then it's three o'clock in the morning and um, you wonder why you're so tired after you have a, well, at the time, three-year-old and you're pregnant and um, there you there you have it. So um, you, what I did was I collectively took what I wanted or what I thought, oh, that's a good idea and uh, made up my own bag. So basically some toiletries that i went through were again toothbrush toothpaste the the, the basics hairbrush hair, hair elastics and the first time around i did do a just uh, travel size of shampoo conditioner and soap this time i was at the store and i spoiled myself and i got they actually had the shampoo and conditioner that i like in travel size so i just got those um, and again, I don't own makeup, so my uh, bag did not include makeup, but if that's your thing, then by all means, throw that in. Whatever's going to make you feel comfortable. And uh, you don't want other people saying, no, you don't need to put on a full face of makeup, you're going to have a baby. But if that's what makes you feel comfortable and you think you're going to want to do that, then by all means, uh, go ahead and do that. Um, that's why I say, or I suggest you should go through your entire day and write down everything that you do so you don't forget any of the small minor details like putting on mascara might be second nature, but you might not think of it when you're in the hospital and so whatever. And then um, I did have a, um, in both cases, I had at least one extra um, or not extra, but a outfit. Um, and it is suggested that you take something that you're comfortable wearing when you're still pregnant, because you're not going to come out slim and trim. Um, you want to be as comfortable as possible. 
Um, and uh, so something that you're comfortable in while you're still pregnant. And it's up to you how many outfits you want to take. I only took, I think, one, maybe two choices. I don't remember exactly, but I think it was at least one choice that included everything. But that part being said, um, some people like taking uh, underpants. And I believe I did throw some in as well as socks, but I actually go for depends because on uh, when I was watching some of these videos, I had no idea what to expect. And the first time around, some people made it seem like no big deal. Some people made it seem like it was a complete massacre. So I didn't want to mess around with that. I wanted you, you just have a baby. Um, especially if it is your first time around, you've just had a baby, you've never done this before. The last thing I wanted to think about was anything, um, to do with that. So I just went, I got the Depends, never had to think about it. It was amazing. Um, they do, our hospital did provide, um, some of the classic, um, mesh underpants, uh, with the giant diaper-like, uh, pad and but um, personally I'm not saying it wasn't nice but personally I just found it very awkward um, and sorry if it's too much information for some people especially if uh, family or friends stumbled upon this video uh, anyways um, that's what I did I just went to pens and it was fantastic and uh, I didn't think it, have to think about it, if I wanted to lie down, if I wanted to sit up, walk in somewhere, it, I didn't think twice about it. And it was great. So, um, let's see, what else did we do? Oh, I also put, I did put in pajamas, um, and um, I did not uh, wear them because I just wore the hospital gowns, but I, I did like having the option. Um, but I thought, well, what the heck, I'll just wear the hospital gowns. I'm perfectly comfortable in those. They're fine. It's, uh, not for that long. I did take this time around, I did take a thin, it actually came with one of the things I got from the maternity store, um, a robe. I didn't use it, but it, again, it was nice to have that option. Um, because it also had uh, longer sleeves than the hospital gown. So if I did want to cover up a little bit or it was cold or whatever. Um, footwear. I chose flip-flops. Um, some people like something a little more cozy. But um, for my big old swollen sweaty feet, I did not want to try to put some kind of other footwear and on and I definitely did not want to have to try a struggle put socks on and I mean it is a little different once you've had the baby but again now you're in recovery mode so I didn't want to have to deal with any of that and like I just said my experience my feet were big swollen and sweaty so my choice was uh, flip-flops now my baby uh, daughter the daughter was uh she was born in the summer so i also didn't necessarily have to worry if i wanted to wear those out of the hospital um that my feet were going to be really cold because the weather was fine um our son was born in the middle of november um but even still you're just going from the hospital to the car so it's uh that's your personal preference if you want but i would not recommend some big giant floppy bunny slippers that you could possibly trip over and they're going to be a big hassle um some hospitals depending on where you are they might provide the um fuzzy grippy socks but again my personal preference i did not want to have to mess around with those and so i opted for flip-flops they're also great for in the room and in the shower um you might not decide that you want to shower but depending on what's going on and how you feel and how long you're there which is also unpredictable you might want to have a little rinse off um just a little bit <laughs> to uh you know after you go through that whole childbirth thing and um 
So I also like the flip-flops for that because um, it didn't matter if they got wet. Um, plus, you can get some cheapy ones. So I kept mine, but if your preference is you don't want to wear them again, you just want to toss them out, well, guess what? You can accidentally leave them at the hospital, throw them out, whatever. Um, I did keep mine because I didn't have a problem with that. And uh, But there you go. So that's my thing for the... The feet, you definitely want something you're not going to be tripping over. That's the biggest thing. Something that's easy to get on and off, especially if this is before, um, like when you're in the labor part and whether you're getting up and down or like walking the halls, you're bouncing on the ball thing, whatever you end up doing, you want something that's comfortable and accessible. Um, what else do we get here? Um, oh, I said about my clothes um the first time around um my water broke at home and i did have a shower and i put on fresh clothes but nothing was containing that so <laughs> by the time i got to the hospital that uh outfit went in a nice lovely take home plastic bag and that's why i was glad that i took an extra pair of clothes because there was no way I was putting on um, those that outfit again. This time around, um, I was fortunate enough. I had had a shower. Um, I put on fresh clothes. I was in them maybe a couple of hours, probably not even that. I don't even know if it was mm. one hour. So um, when I got into the hospital gown, I just folded it up neatly and I was able to wear that one home. Um, I was also in the hospital a lot um, less this time around, so um, it wasn't like those clothes were sitting around for a long time, so that was lucky. But I always prefer to be a little overpacked than under, because that's what's going to make me more comfortable. So, uh, let's see what else. Um, so those are the clothes... Oh, and this is something I took this time that I did not take last time because I didn't really think of it were snacks. Um, I took just a small little container of some candies that I like. And um, I had about three pieces out of that container because I just, I don't know, didn't think of it. Didn't feel like I really wanted them, whatever. But it was, again, nice to have. Um, because I also went the whole time trying to be as good as possible and not having anything. So I thought, well, it'd be a nice little treat once she's out to um, treat myself. But I didn't really partake. I only had a couple pieces uh, in the middle of the night, the one night, because I was trying to have something to keep me awake a little bit, a little more alert. Um, so I think that basically covered me, the basics. Um... But again, like I said, I, I took plenty of depends for myself um, because I knew that with my experience, the hospital was not providing that. This time around, they did provide more, um, but I just was more comfortable with the depends. So there are different whole slew of varieties. Um, so maybe depends isn't for you, but they have whole different varieties of different types you can pick, different brands and stuff. So lots of those, that's my main point, uh, your aftercare, so the Depends, an extra outfit, maybe um, uh, pajamas and a robe, uh, footwear, um, your basic toiletries, so shampoo, conditioner, soap, um, hairbrush, um, hair elastics, whatever makes you the most comfortable. So. If that's all you um, desire is just to throw your hair back or some people put um, like headband things, that's your call. If you want a full makeup, some people take a full bag of makeup and a hair dryer and all those things, you do you. Um, I don't, like I said, I wanted the basics. I don't want to be trucking in loads of stuff. I'm there to have a baby. Um, I don't own makeup and stuff like that, so that wasn't for me. Some people also will take their nursing pillow. I was perfectly fine just using the regular pillows, so that might be uh, something to think about. 
um, whether you want that. Some people also take their pump. I did not. Um, my experience is also the first time around. Um, I did end up using a pump, but I just used the one at the hospital. That was perfectly fine. So I guess it basically depends on your comfort level. If you're fine with the basics, um, again, if you happen to forget something, you think about that of how easy is it to get those items. Like if you did forget your toothbrush, then the hospital probably has something or they probably, there's probably something close by. You're probably not giving birth in the middle of the woods. Um, so I'm just guessing maybe you are. Um, but uh, that was about it for me. Uh, I can't stress that enough. I just went with the basics because I didn't want to be taken in bag upon bag and and uh, you're going in uh, to have the baby and so you're going to have one more thing when you come out. Um, so and then with the baby, um, I took we put in a, a couple of choices um, for outfits going home. Um, you also, for that, you also want to think about, again, what the weather's going to be like. Um, so whether that means um, you adjust the clothing or blankets or whatever that means. Um, so we took a, a couple of choices because you also don't know the size of the baby. So generally, in my opinion, it doesn't matter if you um, happen to have like um, what was it, like three month size instead of like a newborn size, um, it's probably going to be fine even if the clothes are a little big. Um, again, I'd rather the clothes be a little big and a little easier to maybe to get on than you get newborn size and oops, you have an 11 pound baby. <laughs> and, um, but that's again my opinion. I'm it's, uh, um, but that's all we had a couple of that and we had plenty of diapers. Cause again, the, the hospital did provide a few diapers. Um, but I wanted to make sure that we had more than enough. Again, it's in the best interest of the hospital and, uh, the nurses and the staff there to help your baby. Um, so they're not going to let it, you know, go without a diaper or something, but, um, I want to have plenty. Same with wipes. Uh, I knew which wipes worked for us and for our son, so I wanted to make sure we had plenty of those. Um, it's also nice for your self-care, you know, to have some some type of wipes on hand um, or something that you can reach from the bed um, if you want to uh, quickly rinse off your face or any. Uh, other locations um, that might be a tad sweaty or whatever just to give yourself a little freshen up um, so that's basically it some diapers some wipes a uh, couple of outfits for her and um, I think I did put in a couple of receiving blankets but at, when we were at the hospital we used all the hospital um, accessories, I guess, uh, for swaddling and whatnot. But because for one thing, it's a constant thing. They're constantly being swaddled, unswaddled, and there's hopefully um, not too much, but there's always potential for messes. And um, so it's just nice, just as nice to wrap them up in the hospital stuff. It goes in the hospital laundry. They take care of it. Um, same with some people like to have their own hospital gown and that's fine. But again, I didn't want to spend the money on something like that. And, um, I was perfectly fine wearing the, um, hospital provided gowns because the same thing they can take care of, uh, and in their laundry, my experience might have been a little sweaty or something, but I, I didn't experience any like big giant messes. So maybe you would want to get your own, um, but you never know what it's going to be like for you. Um, so I think that's about it. There's, I'm probably going to uh, post this video and think, oh, and then there was this, this and this, but um, I think that was about it. Um, 
because it is pretty basic stuff. And, and then, like I said at the beginning of the video, um, depending on your preferences, um, camera, still camera, your phone, chargers, um, that's why I think it's important to also have a list and an accessible list. So whether that means on the door, on the fridge, whatever, so that you can see any of the last minute things you might need. Um, because um, things like your phone, you probably use it all, uh, every day. And if you are a vlogger or something, you probably use those every day as well. So you want to make sure you have all of those things um, written on a list. So you can just grab and go. Um, and because uh, that's what I had was that. I just basically had my phone and my charger. That was all I took for me. So again, I don't know if you like other things like uh, books or other accessories for yourself. Personally, I just got a new phone, so it was nice and updated. And so I could just play little games on there or check emails or text people or whatever I wanted to do. And last but not least, uh, my husband. Um, the first time around, he did have a bag that had a couple of things for him in it, uh, clothing-wise and accessory-wise, so like things for him to do. Uh, what we, what was right for us, and what we ultimately decided to do was, um, at in the evening at some point, we decided he would go home um, to get proper sleep at the house. Um, that's what we decided for us. We decided for our son and for this time that's what worked well because then he could get a nice well he could be well rested come back in the morning mm -hmm. and um and then be with us um for the day and then go home at night and that's what worked for us like i said we're maybe five minutes from the hospital so that wasn't a big deal if you're a bigger trip like 30 45 minutes or longer than that might not be yet the best option but I can't stress enough, you do you. Whatever is going to make you comfortable, um, you and your husband or significant other, whoever that may be, or helper, whatever, um, whoever is going to be assisting you, whatever is right for you. Um, and that's all I can really think of for now. So that is what was, was in my hospital bag. And... Uh, Thanks for stopping by, and um, I uh, will hopefully be posting some more videos in the same kind of genre, or if I just feel like chit-chatting, but feel free to stop by and uh, visit me again.